Harlequin's winning streak of 10 games in all competitions meant a daunting task for the visiting London Wasp to the Twickenham Stoop late on Saturday night. But it was the visitors who, like a Twickenham in round one, got off to the best start. Nicky Robinson missed an early penalty, but soon after the Wasp were on the board. When Tom Vandell intercepted in midfield and coasted in under the post to score his 50th try in Wasp's colours. Robinson had no problem with the conversion and seven minutes later he had doubled the lead. Christian Wade touching down after some magical handling by Chris Bell and Elliot Daly that was so intricate that referee JP Doyle felt he had to go upstairs for confirmation. The visitors had a 14-0 lead after as many minutes. But the shell-shocked host finally got on the scoreboard after 17. Nick Evans on target with his second penalty attempt. A turning point of sorts came when Bell was sinbin for a shoulder charge on Carl Dixon two minutes later. And Matt Hopper dotted down after a terrible misjudgment by Hugo Southwell. Evans converted and added his second penalty on the stroke of half-time to make it a 1.13-14 game at the break. The second period became an arm wrestle with Wasps claiming the better of possession and chances. But it was not until 60 minutes that the visitors added to their lead. Robinson punishing the otherwise impressive Luke Wallace for an infringement to give Wasps a 17-13 lead. Evans had the chance to reduce that deficit when Billy Vunipola was pinged for slowing the ball, but dragged the shot wide. The Kiwi fly half did claim his third penalty on 71 minutes and reduced the gap to a point once again at 17-16 when Wasps collapsed the scrum. And ironically, as at Twickenham in September, the fly half was given the chance to nick the game at the death. This time in the wind and rain, Evans came up short and wide to give Wasps a famous victory. Their first at the stoop for six years and make sure the top four becomes even harder to call.